Meanwhile, Time Magazine at it again. I want you to see this new cover, the latest cover. You see the president there towering over a little Honduran toddler who's sobbing in a pink jacket. Now, that photo didn't happen in real life. They're taking separate photos of each people and putting them together in order to symbolize the whole border crisis. Um, in actuality, that little girl wasn't really separated from her parents, but that doesn't matter to Time magazine because this is a magazine which was once, you know, was iconic, right? I mean, tremendous history. Time magazine. Uh, it's jumped the shark, <laughs> to use a phrase from uh, what's the happy days. Um, this is a, a magazine that has become nothing but a partisan rag. And it's sad to see, but yet I think so many journalists, publications, et cetera, are so motivated by hatred for this president that they can't see the forest for the trees. They can't see policy. They only see what they don't like, and that is the president of the United States right now. I mean, think about the other cover that time had. Remember the devil ears? I remember thinking at that time, my goodness, really time? Is that necessary? This is their sort of subliminal message here. You see the M pictured over the president's head after he had won the presidency. Well, they're making it clear to everyone he, in fact, is the devil himself. And now let's go back to the picture that is sparking this new controversy, the little girl who actually wasn't separated from her parents and the president, these two images being put together to tell you that this president is nothing but, in the view of time, perhaps pure evil.